Hello dear YouTubers, this is a walkabout of my brand new SIM scooter, um, the GTS 300i, um, 2019 model. It was in the store for a little while, it is now October 2020. Um, <clears throat> 300 cc's, uh, well, to be exact, 286 and uh, uh, they call it the 300 and um, just got it yesterday I already drove a couple of hundred kilometers and um, the acceleration of this scooter is is nil um, when you turn the throttle and nothing really happens but eventually and that's the stunning part of it um, it accelerates to GPS measured 151 kmh on the straight. So that's an amazing, amazing top speed for a 300. So the trade-off obviously is the acceleration, but um, the uh, the handling is, is like a motorbike, very, very solid. It's a very heavy scooter, I think over 200 kilos empty. Um, one of its heaviest in the class of the 300 class and has a few very nice features that we'll get into first of all let's start it up a little bit and I explain a bit on what's going on it has a very interesting instrument panel um, it's got fuel gauge here then of course speedometer odometer and water temperature and on the inside, I mean, once it's on, you can then choose the, between different menus. So you have volts here and trip meter, and then you can choose between total kilometers and uh, time and so on. But it's nice to have a voltage and trip meter on all the time. That's uh, good information. I already installed my GPS here. It has an extra large windshield as an extra. And also on the back a very solid GB 47 liter case. Fits two full sized helmets plus a little bit of luggage. It has some nice features that are not as usual on a motorbike or scooter. One is the hazard light, which I needed on my Vespa very often, would have needed on my Vespa very often. <laughs> and um, the usual, of course, um, left and right, uh, horn, then high beam, low beam. It has a nice feature um, that is on top of here. It's for passing. It uh, lets the it puts on the high beam as well as low beam at the same time. If you're planning to pass someone, um, they are aware of it. The mirrors are good. They are adjustable, and in tight parking spots, you can knock them back and forth. Um, they're fairly large and uh, comfortable with good views. What is also a nice feature is that you have the brake lights, I'm sorry, not brake lights, the brake fluid gauge always visible on both sides, which is a very nice feature. And as I said before, Top speed is measured by this GPS 151 kmh and the speedometer goes ahead by about 10 kilometers so you can actually knock it right uh, to the tilt to 160 which is a nice fantasy <laughs> but uh, um, it's it's impressive the top speed what is also very convenient is the tank is down here lockable 
And so it's a large 12 liter tank. In mixed use, the scooter, and I verified it, uses about 3.0 liters per hundred. So you have an almost 400 kilometer range on this scooter, which is more than double than what I had on my Vespa. You have two seating positions for your legs. One is up here. The other one down here, obviously, for regular driving. And you have for the winter months um, warm air for the legs, which is very comfortable, especially if you combine that with a blanket that they sell that wraps around um, the whole lower body and the entire scooter for winter driving. Very convenient. We have a little cubby hole here with chargers, um, USB as well as uh, a cigarette lighter, so to say. Um, here at the lock, nice feature too is when you wash the scooter, you don't want water to go into the uh, ignition keyhole and so you can close that and you have a special attachment here at the end of this key with which you can open this. This little slot and now it is usable again. Um, the instruments are very well visible, um, function well, <coughs> always readjust themselves to neutral positions for every start. Um, here is a fog light which um, is very convenient too because here in Germany it does get very foggy quite often. I'll start it once more and show you the lights. So the fog lights are on and high beam. The one drawback is, it's unfortunately, it's not LED lights yet in the front, but um, if you put at night, if you put the fog lights on anyway, you have a very nice visibility around the scooter and can see, see deers fairly well. The back is all LED lights, including the brake lights and everything. The turn signals are very visible. And also the signals are inside the mirror for good visibility for cars and everything. Also what is very nice is the very very luxurious storage space underneath the seat it's uh, more than 45 liters it fits two full-sized helmets one here two, and this little nose here is there to keep it securely in place and it doesn't wobble about the second one goes here and there can still be lots of luggage in the middle so between this storage space and the suitcase, I have over a hundred liters of storage and even a little dome light in this compartment. Also what is very nice is the seat holds it up uh, itself with this hydraulic little shock absorber here and from a certain point on it even lifts itself the seat. Very, very luxurious, very comfortable. So that is my brand new Sim scooter, GTS 300i.